Hello, this is Mrs. Pratt. We're going to be doing a core practical investigating waves. Today we're looking at water waves. Hello, this is the core practical for measuring waves in solids and liquids. In part A, we're going to measure waves in liquids, and part B, which is another video, will be measuring waves in solids. So let's get started. Okay, as always, core practicals come up in the middle of a module after you've learned some of the science behind it. So I'm going to assume you know some of the science already. Let's recap on a couple of things. We know there are many types of waves. If you look at the electromagnetic spectrum up here, you can see these are broken down into the individual wave groups. Waves also travel in water and in sound, and there are even some earthquake waves. Today we're going to look at waves that travel in water. Now, by the end of this uh, core practical, we should have an understanding of how we calculate certain attributes about the way the wave travels. We'll be able to calculate wave speed, frequency, and distance. Now to do that, we're going to need to use some specialist equipment. Now over here, I have what's called a ripple tank. Now this ripple tank is essentially a tank of water with a vibrating plate on top of it. Now that vibrating plate on top here ripples the water creating the waves that we need to measure. There's also a signal generator down here. Now the signal generator sends a signal to this vibrating plate telling it the frequency to vibrate at. But one of the things we're going to calculate in this practical is wave frequency. So I'm just going to set that to a random frequency and then we can go through the calculations and we, don't, we won't be cheating by looking at the frequency signal generator. So in this core practical, it's asking us to set this ripple tank up and then place a ruler down one side of the ripple tank. And we need to make sure that the water level is just above the markings on the ruler. Now I haven't filled this with any water yet, and we'll get to that in a second. But once we've filled this with water, we need to clearly see those markings on the ruler, because we need to use them to measure the distance between two points. So I'm now going to fill this with water, and we're going to zoom in and we're going to have a look at how the ripple tanks works. So if I turn this towards the camera, you'll be able to see that this vibrating plate here is suspended by two rubber bands. That's important, it needs to be able to move to be able to work. We can also see the vibrating plate also loosely touches the surface of the water. It's going to need to do that to be able to go up and down into the water and create the waves that we need to see. So if I turn this on now, the vibrating plate starts to move. As that weight tips backwards and forwards, it moves this plate upwards and downwards. That dips in and out of the water and create waves that travel to the end of the ripple tank. Now let's move this back round and take a look at the ruler's edge and see this in closer detail. Okay, so we can see now that there are waves being created by the, by the vibrating plate. We have a ruler inside our ripple tank that we can use to measure the distance between the wave peaks, uh, distance a wave travels in time. We're also going to need a stop clock because we're going to measure how long it takes one wave to travel the distance of the tank. One of the first instructions of the core practical is to count how many waves pass the point in 10 seconds. So let's do that now. On the screen, I've marked a point on the ripple tank and we're going to see how many waves pass that point in 10 seconds. And I'll put a counter on the screen to do that. The next job we have to do is we have to estimate how big a wave is. That means we have to look at the peak between one peak of a wave to the peak of the second wave and measure that wavelength against the ruler. Now this is an estimation. And actually these waves are traveling quite fast and I'm unable to slow them down as, as to the speed they're going at the moment. So therefore what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photograph of the waves. So it's a freeze frame I can then clearly see the gap between two peaks of each wave. 
The next instruction in the core practical is to measure the time it takes for one wave to go past a two points in the ripple tank. So let's mark a gap in this ripple tank where we'd like our wave to travel and time how long it takes to go from point A to point B, from start to finish. Okay, so we've got our time on the screen now as well. So we've been able to, so far, estimate the size of the wavelength, time how long it takes for a wave to pass two points in a ripple tank, and count how many waves pass a point in 10 seconds. Okay, so we can now use some of the information we've gathered from our measurements taken from the ripple tank to calculate the speed of the wave. Now we're going to need this equation here. We're going to need distance divided by time. Our distance has to be in meters and our time has to be in seconds. Let's do that calculation on the screen now. The second part of the core practical is asking us to calculate the speed of the wave by using the frequency and the wavelength. Now to calculate the frequency, we need to use the number we worked out earlier for the amount of waves that were created in 10 seconds. We need to divide that by 10. Now once we divided that by 10, we can times that with the wavelength we estimated earlier. That should give us a reading for the speed of the wave also. Now the rest of the core practical is analysing your results. You will be comparing your results with other groups and seeing what measurements they got. Remember these waves on the water are really hard to judge where they are. Some of the results that other groups get may be less accurate than yours, or your results may be less accurate from other groups. Remember, this experiment is to calculate the speed of the waves by using some estimates. So other groups and your group may have different results.